everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video I would like to show you how I transform two of these men's shirts into these beautiful tops. For the bustier top I cut off the rounded bottoms of the shirt. I then used a ruler to mark where I wanted the cups to be. My measurements were 13 cm in width and 10 cm in length with a 3 cm gap in the middle. I then cut out the bodice of my top. Here I'm just seam ripping the darts of the shirt. Next I cut out the cups with a width of 16cm and 15cm length. I then folded the top of my cup over once and sewed it down and then folded it over again and sewed it shut to create a channel for some elastic. I cut a 10 cm long piece of elastic which I fed through the channel of my cup with a safety pin. I then sewed the side of the channel and the elastic shut. Next I turned my sewing machine to the longest stitch setting and sewed a basting stitch along the curve of my cup. It's important not to backstitch at this time. I ruffled the cup to fit the curve on the bodice and pinned it together. At this point you want to make sure to fit the cup with a 2 cm gap at the top as this still needs to be hemmed. I then sewed the cups to the bodice. Next I hemmed both sides of the top with a rolled hem. As the top is too wide for me, I threaded the bobbin with elastic thread by hand to show the back of the top. Alternatively, you could also sew it tighter, which would mean you need to use the buttons to get into the top. I shirt the whole back of the top. For more details on shirring, you can also watch my DIY shirt skirt video. I then made the top a little bit more tight by taking in the sides of the top. As I won't need to use the buttons, I sewed a straight stitch down the button line. I 
I then cut off the cuffs of the sleeve and cut a straight line at the top of the sleeves. I folded and sewed the top of the sleeves in the same way like I did with the cups to create a channel for some elastic. I then took some elastic and wrapped it around my arm to cut it so that it fits me. I fed the elastic through the channel and sewed it shut. I then hemmed the bottoms of the sleeve with a rolled hem. I then took some more elastic and cut it to fit my lower arm. Next I sewed the elastic onto the inside of the sleeve with a zigzag stitch about 2cm above the hem. Lastly, I attached the sleeves to the sides of my top and finished is my transformation. Let's take another look at how the shirt used to look like before. And here is the final result. I love how this top turned out, I think it looks super cute and I just love the off the shoulder style. On to the one shoulder top transformation. To refashion this men's shirt into this lovely one shoulder top, I firstly cut off the sleeves of the shirt, one of the sleeves I'm keeping safe as I will use this as my sleeve later on. I then put the shirt on with the back facing the front to mark where I want the neckline to be. Next I cut this pattern out of the back of the shirt and checked if it was big enough. I then took the remaining shirt apart. I usually get to a point where I just want to see how much fabric I have got left to work with, which is why I'm just cutting all the pieces apart. To create the back of my top, I took the two front pieces of the shirt and traced my pattern of my top onto the fabric. I'm adding 4cm to all the sides as I'm going to shirt the back, which is going to shrink it. I then sew the two pieces right sides together. I 
I then hemmed the bottom of my new back piece with a rolled hem. I also hemmed the sides of the back piece with a rolled hem as well. Next, I shirt the whole back piece just like I did with the other top. And this is how my back piece ended up looking like. Because my fabric was slightly see-through and I generally like my clothing double layered, I'm cutting out another one shoulder top piece as lining for my top. To cut this layer piece, I am using the remainder of the back of the shirt as well as the remaining sleeve. I then realized that we would be able to see the markings that I made at the top, I therefore used some bleach on a cotton bud to get rid of the markings. Next I'm sewing my two front top pieces right sides together, leaving the sides and the tip of the shoulder open. I quickly iron the edges of the top flat for a crisp look. And I know it doesn't appear like it, but I do actually have an ironing board. <laughs> to create dots for a better fit, I pinned my front piece to my dress form with the inside out. However, you can also just drape it on yourself. I made the dots 10cm long, with the tip being on the highest part of my chest, the dart declining to the sides. I then sew the dots by following my folds. Next I used my dress form to see where I need to attach the front to the back piece. Again this is something you could also do directly on your body. I sewed the back and front pieces together at the sides with the right sides facing. I then cut off any excess fabric. Because I made my shoulder straps slightly too short, I cut out two small rectangles which I sew right sides together at the sides and folded inside out. I attached that middle piece to both shoulder straps by sewing it right sides together. And now onto the sleeve. I take the remaining sleeve and pin it to the shoulder opening of my top.
I cut off the cuff of the sleeve as I won't be needing this. I attach the sleeve to the top by sewing it right sides together. I then took some elastic and cut it to fit my upper arm. I attach the elastic to the sleeve with a zigzag stitch about halfway down the sleeve. I then took one of the layers of the top back part of the shirt to use as a ruffle for my sleeve. I hemmed the fabric with a rolled hem and sew the strip into one loop. I then sew a basting stitch along the loop and pull on the thread to make it fit the bottom of the sleeve and sew these right sides together. I took some more elastic which fits my lower arm and sew the elastic onto the seam of my ruffle with a zigzag stitch. Because the shirt back creates a ruffled edge, I want to match this at the front, so I take some of the remaining fabric and create a strip that is 20cm longer than the front of my top. I hem the ruffles and sew a basting stitch to then pull on the thread and match the width of the top. I measured the length of the back ruffles and sewed the front ruffles onto the top right sides together making sure that I match the length of the back ruffles. Next I cut off the excess fabric and sew the back and front ruffles together at the sides. Lastly I top stitched the ruffles down so they lay flat and finished is the transformation. Let's take another look at how the shirt used to look like before. And here is the final result. This top is my favourite shirt transformation ever. I want to thank my brain for coming up with this design as I think it is truly beautiful and unique. I would love some feedback from any of you as I'm unsure if my videos are instructional enough and if I show enough details so please feel free to leave any comments. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more DIY videos.